Okay guys, today we're doing a carburetor on a still MS200T. First thing we're going to do is take off the air filter assembly. Uh, any parts we use are going to be in the description below. Carburetor, fuel lines, any, anything you need for this job. Now you got the air filter off, got two 8mm, pop them out. This should pull straight out. A little stiff, might have to give her some help. Alright. Then we're gonna pull pull this off this way. And let me see. Um, let's pop this cap right here off. Get it out of the way. And this should come out enough to where we can get the throttle arm off. So throttle arm is this guy right here. Looks like it just should push right in. I'm going to have to have both hands because it's just moving around. Yep, it just pushed right on and then this comes out. And I got a whole kit. comes with everything. Caps, filters, everything you need. So we're going to take the grommet and we're going to stick it down in here. And we're going to get it shoved into that hole with a little flathead screwdriver. Just so you know, this is going to be a pain in the butt. It really is not going to be fun, but you can do it. So then we're going to slide the carb on a little bit, shove the fuel line in it, and then we're going to try to grab that choke arm and get it over the carb as we slide it back a little bit. And don't go all the, all the way back, we can't do that yet. Okay, so we're just laying this up on this side where, where it's kind of out of the way. And then we're going to go in here and grab this arm and get it behind that throttle piece. I don't know why that won't focus. You see that throttle piece? Got to get the arm to slide into it. So you're going to use your needle nose and you're going to grab it and get it up in place. And then you just pull your trigger ever so slightly to get it to line up. Once you get it all lined up, you can push this in. But wait, we gotta get there's a we're missing a black piece here. It's on the other carburetor. Make sure you pull this off of here and shove it onto that before you go any further. Okay, now that's on. Go ahead and push this in ever so gently. Most of the way down. Now this is pretty well lined up. We can go ahead and grab that with our needle nose and pull it back and get it into place as well. Now we've got it all in, throttle's working, choke is working, alright, we're, we're in good shape here, hose is in place, now we're going to put this cap back on, and these two nuts back into place to hold it down. Alright, so now we got all this in place, everything's held down. We can go ahead, pop our gas cap off, and we're gonna reach in here, grab the hose with the needle nose. All right, so you got it with your uh, needle nose. Now you're gonna go ahead and stab your fuel filter on. Just like that. And then you're gonna shove it in and make sure that it sits on the bottom of the tank. On bottom in there, you can't see it, but it's in there, I promise. Then you're going to add gas to it, put your top on, fire it up. Alright guys, that's how you put a carburetor in an MS200T still chainsaw. Um, if this helped you in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll put all the parts, that whole kit, in the bottom. Um, if you look closely, you'll see I used a different grommet in this. The grommet set that this one came with was the wrong one. I don't even know where that one went anymore. It was way too big. So I'll make sure I get you the one with the right grommet in it. Most of the time you won't have to change the fuel line anyway, so you'll be fine. Um, today's t-shirt, that whole kit will be in the, uh, both of them will be in the uh, description below. If you want me to wear any of your business shirts, mail me some and I'll uh, wear, a uh, wear them through a bunch of videos. Peace.